Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today I've got another car boot sale haul for you. I went to a few car boot sales on the weekend on a flea market. Um, we went to Bessemer Road car boot sale, it starts about half past six on a Sunday morning. We went to Bridgend Multi-Story Car Park which is levels of car boot sale which is they rain or shine. We then went to Tremor for Industrial Estate which was an indoor flea market. Um, we had a whale of a time, myself and Stephen Bunny. Um, now, a car boot sale basically is exactly what it says. It's a licensed area where people fill up their car boots and go and sell wherever they want out of the car boot. So that is what we've done on Sunday and this is the last of the stock I've got from that. I got three really, really nice pieces that I'm happy with. Um, but before I get to them pieces, I'm going to show you a bit of work in stock. So we we'll start off. As you know, I come from a little Welsh mining village um, near Aberdeen called Mountain Ash, and well, it's, an, it's a coal mining area. We've always had coal mines. Well, my first piece is a little bit of carved coal. That's why it was relevant. It's carved as a steam engine, uh, pannier and van by Kingmaker. So, we've got a really nice little carved coal steam engine. Now I paid £3.50 for this. It's to buy something like that new from the shop would be something like £30-£40 I would imagine. It's a really nice uh, example in lovely condition because you've got to be careful because this coal is soft as you can imagine and the sticky out bits do break off. But £3.50 I'm going to put probably £15 on that. So. It's okay, nice little bit of work in stock there. This one I was really disappointed with. Um, I'd never seen it before. It was the Happy Caterpillar, uh, who turns into a butterfly and the little star on top. Now, it's by, it's a money box, but it's by Port Marion. Um, the world of Eric Carl. Pope Marion. Um, anyway, I paid a fiver for it. I paid a fiver for it in charity shop. Um, we came out to Bridge End Multi Story, went up to a charity shop, paid a fiver for it purely because I thought it was quirky, it was nice. I hadn't seen one before. I thought, well, it's a really nice, pretty little money box for a young girl. Unfortunately, that's pretty much what they sell for. Um, I found them from £3 to a tenner. So I was quite shocked because I'd never actually seen one of these before. Um, but I'm still going to chuck it in my £10 cabinet and if somebody makes me an offer of seven or eight pounds it's going to go. So it's not going to be much of a profit on that one but at the same time you can't always make the money. You know, you're going to make some mistakes. In Bridgen Multi-Story we have these pair of Dancing on the Water Dolphins. So when they skim in the water doing the dance they are solid brass and they owe me £1.50. If all else fails, they'll go in my scrap box. But for now, they're going up for sale. I'll probably chuck 12 quid on the pay. Nothing antique about them, but people like dolphins. And I thought, well, do you know what? They're solid brass. I can weigh them in or I can sell them in the shop. Either way, I don't mind. Next we have cut crystal bowl. Now it's a real good quality piece. Lovely sound to it. Starting with the underside, it's uh, it's got a ground and polished pontal mark here and star cut to the base. So it's a hand blown piece. Then it's all shallow cut and I mean beautifully shallow cut. It's got these leaves and grapes all the way around. Then you have this sort of diamond pattern here. Even the top is all cut and stepped. This is a really good quality crystal bowl. Now it cost me £3 in Bessemer Road car boot sale. I wish it was signed. If it was signed, it's probably a web or something like that. Um, if it was signed, it'd probably be up about £30, £35. Because it's not signed, it's probably going to be a £20 bowl. But it really is a quality crystal bowl. Now come my four favourite pieces of the day. We have, it's not an old one, um, I wish it was, but it's still a really nice 
Chinese soapstone carved tiger. And if I take it off his base, it's quite a nice little base as well. It's got a couple of markings on the underside here, here, and there. But it is nicely carved and it's just a nice representation. Look at how proud he stood on that rock. So soapstone carvings go, I like that. And that cost me uh, £2 in Bessemer Road. As you know, I've been buying Chinese porcelain for my study, for my research and so forth. Well, Bessemer Road car boot sale. We have a double gourd vase which is describing the shape. It is the prunus pattern and it carries a Kangzi mark. Um, so we've got a really nice hand painted prunus double gourd vase. Now it cost me £3.50. Now this doesn't date to the Kangzi period, this is a Guanchu piece, it's uh, in the Kangzi revival. Um, the four character marks pretty much always the uh, Guanchu period. It is also damaged. Uh, there. I did know when I bought it, it's got this bit of a smash here and a crack running off it. However, it dates to probably 1875 through to 1900, 1910, and it is a really nice piece to go with my studies. And to be honest with you, forgetting that little bit of damage here, you turn it around, it looks perfect. It could still display as a beautiful piece. I'm keeping the best for last, obviously. Next, we have this brass, enamel, and iron. No, brass, enamel, and tin um, post office scales. ORGM stamped on it. Beautiful bit of enamel work. Really nice scales. So you literally just put your letter on and you push the weight up. So really nice scales. Now I paid a bit of money for these, I paid £20, but I absolutely loved them and thought they were really decorative. So yeah, got to do a bit of research on the maker there, but I see that all day long at £45, no problem at all, it's an easy double my money. But one of the reasons I bought them was because I bought it in order to buy this, which is my final piece. And as I've already explained, I'm in a mining community and love mining lumps. This is a very early Thomas and Williams Davy lamp, clangy lamp, whatever you want to call them. Now this one, it's probably about 1880, 1900 and date. It's stamped William Jones BAV uh, 31205 it's got a crack in the glass there it's fully stamped up here number six e, Tom, uh, e. Thomas makers Abaday 6205 and then on this side then again you got William Jones so it's a really early lamp Pay twenty-five pound for it, but I'm going to. It's not in the best condition. It's um, got a bit of rust, so it's probably had some work done by there. It's got the hairline crack here. I think it's missing a bit of the uh, burner section there. Maybe the wick holder there is missing. However, that's a very very rare lamp. Pay £25 for it. So this and this come off the same dealer inside in Bessemer. And shockingly, I've looked at some of the prices of these lamps. 
privately off of eBay, people are asking five and six hundred pounds from. You'll have a look, they are shocking figures. There's a couple on eBay, um, and they're asking 200s, 250s, and so on. It cost me 25 pounds, as I've said. This one, I'm going to put on auction. And I'm going to start the auction at 95. So I'm going to guarantee myself 100 for it. Or 95 pounds if you like. Um, if it doesn't sell for that, then it'll be going in on my shop. But I personally think with the fact it's named William Jones. Um, I'll do a bit of research on the pit and everything else. That BAV is no doubt going to be relating to the pit or the mine. I don't know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful lamp. For £25, to be honest with you, this is one of my nicer finds in a while. He also had a few other pieces there. Um, he had a light bulb with four prongs underneath it and said for ground testing only. Um, so I'm trying to buy that. I'm going to find out what that was. And if I can get that, I'll show you that. But I absolutely love this lamp. Really do. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at these two pieces. The Chinese vase, right up my street for what I'm buying at the moment. I love the postal scales. Just a nice bit of history there. This lamp is spectacular. Chinese tiger is nice. The crystal bolt. But to be honest with you, the only things that I don't really rate that highly. And the brass dolphins and the pot Mario money box. I even like the cold train. So all in all, it was a nice little haul. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye for now.